actually wanted to show you how to make parmigiana di, di par, eh, eggplant parmigiana, una parmigiana di melanzane o oh, le melanzane alla parmigiana. Mm, sounds good, doesn't it? It does. My name is Camilla. It has been so long since I've actually done a video. A lot of things have changed. If you watch my other videos, you can see that it's a new kitchen and it's a bit weirdly shaped. So I'm still having to understand where is the best place to put my camera. Now I don't have the same ingredients that I used to find so easily in Italy, but at least here in California, thankfully I can find Parmigiano because literally that's my reason of life. And today I'm gonna use like a new mozzarella. It doesn't look like normal mozzarella. It looks more like a block of cheese. It's actually even an Italian brand, but I guess it's made for Americans. People here even use chicken to make. I don't know, I've never heard of that. Maybe it is Italian, I don't know. We should start by the sauce because it takes a little longer than the rest. Let's start by cutting the onions and the carrots into small cubes. You can also add celery if you like it. I never buy just because I don't usually eat it just like that, unless it's with some gorgonzola on top. Ooh, that's actually good. Usually I cut it uh, on this end, like this, but I've seen that a lot of people actually cut it lengthwise. So why not try it? And then, you know, I can judge and see which one is better. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that with these eggplants, and if you find them really bitter, you can just, just sprinkle some salt on top and just let them uh, lose their water. You know, you can choose not to do that, uh, but I never do it, so, and they're fine. Oil, garlic, I cut it into so that the flavor comes through. I have some tomato sauce, you can see there's also some water on top. This is more or less two cups, friend, wooden spoon, oh yeah. Can you hear the frying? Oh yeah! You can stir sometimes, but it's better to leave it, you know, standing. It's better to leave it still also, just so that it gets hot enough to caramelize the sugars. So that's gonna be delicious! Bong bong! And then add our tomato sauce. Now we're just gonna let it cook until, you know, it's nice and flavorful. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like kind of like stripes like this. Yeah, because if I make it in cube, it's gonna look even more fake. At least like this, it gives you like a, you know, an idea of like mozzarella. Not judgment. I'm just saying that y'all obviously, if you have fresh mozzarella, it's better. Hmm. Hey, is it great? It, like there's no tomorrow. Just today I discovered that actually the way that we do it at my house is actually from Naples which is with like a breading, with you know, egg and breading and then it's fried and then sauce and everything but actually some people do it without any kind of breading, they just fry them just like this so this is pretty cool, it's pretty interesting I guess we're just fat asses at home so you choose, whatever you feel like it <laughs> So I'm gonna start by breaking two eggs Let's make the egg wash <laughs> By mistake, I bought the Italian uh, Italian uh, kind or whatever, and it has like parsley and stuff in it. You can also just use regular breadcrumbs, and I just like to put some salt and some pepper just to give it some taste. This is the last part. Get yourself a plate for your uh, breaded eggplant. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. The best way to do it is to use the diff two different hands. Uh, one for the egg and one for the dry stuff. Get it to stick nicely, get a nice crust around it so that it's gonna be like nice and crunchy. Ooh. Over here I'm gonna put some oil in this pan, peanut oil. All right, so it's more or less like this, 344. Pretty nice and crunchy, I'm gonna take them out. So I would say that this color is good. I'm gonna use basil on top of it and put it into the layers, but 
As you can see, mine is like kind of dying. It's looking sad and I can't use it no more. So that's kind of like 200 uh, Celsius degrees. I had a small corn dog break, which was delightful. I want to give the dog a treat too. I want to make him try some mozzarella because he needs to, you know, he's an American dog, so he needs some Italian culture too. Oh yeah. Good. Here it is. It's perfectly cooked, the cheese has melted, it's still frying a bit and I think it looks delicious and the smell is freaking dank, so I think I am really going to enjoy it. Thanks again so much for watching, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It's gonna be me and my beautiful parmigiana that uh, I am going to enjoy in the next few days. And yeah, thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you next time.